Hello everyone, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. We will continue in this session how exactly the document classification task bot we can implement inside process flow using copilot form. And also we will see how we can utilize the pre-processing because pre-processing we have already built and that one we will just quickly recap and also I have added some more technique onto that. We will see first what exactly changes I have added in the pre-processing R&D. If you are not aware what is exactly the pre-processing, I would recommend just go and watch pre-processing video series. That will be very helpful to understand why exactly pre-processing is needed and what we did in, in, in this pre-processing bot. I just added some cleanup activity here. That's it. The first thing is I'm just deleting a input folder, copilot input folder because whatever user will upload into the copilot form that will be available in the cloud right so that we cannot use directly for enhancing the images or pre-process the images or pre-process your uh, pdf file or something so that we have to download that particular file into local machine or your shared folder then we can utilize for pre-processing so that's why what i'm doing is copilot folder I'm just deleting or I'm clearing then I'm downloading the stored file in the cloud right I'm just downloading utilizing process composer get storage file and again I'm checking is there any output folder having some input uh, document or not if it is already having some files I'm just deleting that output folder then I'm just enhancing the image using preprocessor technique. So here I'm using only the grayscale. Why exactly grayscale? Why not other effect? You can watch the preprocessing video, then you can understand. Okay, so we have tried a multiple uh, effects and we have stick to the grayscale for this document process. After that, I'm saving this particular preprocessed output into one of the folder called pre-processing slash output and that output I'm considering as input for the classification bot. So now if you're having a confusion, let me try to show you the document automation end to end flow. So here what we did till here, we have utilized a input whatever coming from the uh, users, right? So here we are using copilot. I hope everyone is clear in this case. And after that, we are jumping into pre-process and here we are pre-processing your copilot input. We are downloading that and we have pre-processed. Now, this pre-processed output is input for my classification process, right? This is output and this output will be the input for classification process not your direct input whatever you have received from your user right we, because we have pre-processed that document then we are saving under the output folder that output folder will be the input for classification process so now we have to implement the classification process inside the process flow right we have already built a classification process task in a previous session if you are not watch that videos Please go and watch and understand what is exactly classification, what is exactly the pre-processing. And also if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. So now let's jump into automation anywhere again. And here I hope everyone is clear and this input for classification bot variable, if I go and show in the variable panel, I have made it as an output. Intentionally I have added output, why? Because this output will be the input for my classification bot right so that's why so now let's go into the process flow so now we have a four structure here one is document automation form let me show you what exactly we have in the document automation form i just added one file drop here user can just drop their file and here we have a file name okay so this is very important for the document automation what is exactly the file name you want to keep it and also example i have given give your extension also that's very easy for us to complete the demo right so that's why so this very basic form but if you are not aware how to create a form just go and watch the copilot and process flow 
series. So now let's close this and come back to the panel. And here, if you see, we have a process. And in this process, we have already added in the previous sessions the copilot form, right? This is a form I'm using. And also, we have used pre process, right? This is our pre processor, pre processing, right? So, and if you see over here, file input file and the file name. Yes, this is very important. The pre processor also asking for a file name, right? What is exactly the file name? you are utilizing. So now file name is there in the copilot form if you remember, right? So that's why what I will do just add over here and take a file name from the request. See file name just add it. So this is input file path and this is input file name, right? So both we have taken into the pre processing. Once the pre processing is completed, it will, it will save the file in an output folder, right? After this, as per our design, once your class pre processing is completed, we have to go with a classification process, right? Classification process also, we have a bot. So that's why I'm just dragging and dropping here in the bot. And element name is, let's say, classification process. And the task name, I will give a same. And here we should not give any space. So now let's take a browse and uh, classification r &D. And if you remember, this is an input file. And we have to give an input file path here. Basically input file path, whatever you have used in the pre-processing as an output, that will be an input file path. So let's go and try to add here from the pre-processing output. But here if you see output is empty, it is not giving anything. Why? Because your output, whatever you have created in the pre-processing, that is string. But your input value, whatever your classification process is expecting, that is in the file, right? Intentionally I have did this mistake to show you guys how you you can transform this particular string into file. So very simple, just duplicate this and let me come back to preprocessor. And instead of here assigning a string variable, let's go with a file. So here we have an option called file assign, right? So that's it. So now this particular file path I can assign here in the desktop file, okay? And this one will be the file input for document classification, right? And this will be the output, select. I hope you have understand this concept, why I have changed from string to file because your classification bot is expecting a file, not the string, right? So that's why. And here let's add a do document classifier. And uh, the same thing, I will add it here also. Let's go and browse your document classifier bot. And now if you see the input you can utilize download because I'm utilizing for my uh, upcoming process. And now go and pre-processing output. Just refresh once again, save. And refresh your screen. Okay, let's go here. And now let's insert your request. Sorry pre-processing output and now you can see pre-processing file input, right? So now we have passed whatever the output which was in the pre-processing into document classifier. It's very simple. Let's go and understand the output. So now if you see here, I'm having the classification output empty and also my pre-processing input also empty and output also empty. So meaning is very simple. We have not yet processed anything. So let's take any of the 
image or any of the PDF for this process. Let's go and let's run this and we will understand how exactly it works. So now we have implemented in a copilot preprocessor and document classification. Same way we will implement learning instance and result flow and also the end application process. So now let's drop any of the file. Let me just go and take PNG. And again, whenever you are taking a PNG PDF or something in your uh, copilot, you have to first mention what are all the files you can expect or accept in your copilot utilizing copilot form structure. We have already seen that in a previous uh, classes. Just go and watch that class. And now once you uploaded a file, whatever you want to pre-process or a classify. Okay, once it is uploaded, we have to give a file name, right? Without file name, this will not submit. So that's why we have to give a file name here. We will not take as an invoice because we are already aware the second file is invoice as a human, but we will not take it as an invoice. We will give something else like bank statement, right? Just imagine your client is giving a wrong file name. You are not going with a file name, right? So now we are classifying using content. So that is the beauty of classifier. So now I'm just taking a bank statement dot PNG. If you see, I have given already the example. What is exactly you have to add it here? Bank statement dot PNG and just submit it. You can give any name with extension for this demo. I have given an extension extension also important because the logic, whatever we have wrote that need an extension also. So now what exactly bot is doing? First, it will go and download the file from your cloud because whatever user will upload in a copilot that will save under the cloud, not in your local machine or in the client local machine. Why? Because client can open this copilot form in any of the machine. They can utilize their Teams application or any SaaS based application also. Once bot pre-processing is completed, it will go to the document classifier bot and here the classification will begin with a classification model. See now the flow is once your input file is completed, the pre-processing, that pre-processed output will be the document classifier input and it will give you the output like this. Example, even though we have given a wrong input file placeholder name like bank statement for invoices, your classification is correct, correctly identifying, okay, this is an invoice, not the banking statement with a confidence level 68%. You can increase or decrease this confidence level in the document classifier bot. And after this, bot will create this document classified output in a output folder. Let's go and see that. We will understand first and let me go back here. The first stage is pre-processing, right? Once the input is uploaded by the user, once your process is started, Copilot will save your input into cloud. Then in the preprocessor bot, we are just downloading that particular file into Copilot input folder in your device or maybe a shared drive. And this is your banking statement as it is whatever user is uploaded. Now, once after pre-processing technique is applied, we are downloading that particular output into output folder. And here you can see bank statement input is added a grayscale and it converted or it is removed the background color and it is very clear for the classification and the next process we call it as learning instance process also, right? So now this is very clear bank statement dot PNG even though this is invoice, we have given a wrong name as a bank statement. That's why it is taking as a bank statement. So now let's come back to the pre-processing output. So this output will be the input for your classification model. So now we, we know this is wrong banking statement, right? We have to correct it as an invoice. So that's why what we are using classification model. If you go inside the classification, 
in the output folder automatically your classification bot will create a invoice folder why because it is classified this particular statement as invoice the name as it is it is having bank statement but as per the logic you can change the name or rename it whatever you can do it you 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 can do but the the logic here is whatever your bot is giving the input that it will classify and it will give you the statement like this so now you may have a question like in case we have not to train the type of document then what will happen to this particular document automation classifier so in case you have uploaded wrong document or which is not trained in your model then let's see what will happen so example let me take a different statement which is not yet trained this is not a invoice this is not a banking statement or it is not a credit memo this is totally a different document then what will happen to your document preprocessor and classifier both we will see i am just taking a seventh jpeg and uh, here let's give a file name also once it is uploaded let's wait for the uploading okay let's add a file name as maybe test123 dot jpeg right so i have given just a name and the extension name you can give it anything because we have already seen if you are giving a wrong name also it's not a problem the bot will not go with the name of the file right it will always go with the content of the file to classify it but for the pre processing your document might be anything it's not a problem it might be a pdf it might be an invoice of png or jpeg or any other format bot will pre process that using the technique of grayscale or brightness or anything like this and it will try to classify those in the classifier model again this particular file is not yet classified right so that's why bot will not classify with a confidence see now the file name whatever you have given but category is unclassified it is not telling okay this is invoice or a bank statement or credit memo because only we have trained three different types this is not which is in the training part right so that's why it is saying as unclassified and the confidence is zero so this is what the document classifier beauty it will not say any error right it will not stop your bot it will complete your bot and in the output we will see how exactly it will generate if you go to the classification model in the output folder it will create a separate folder called unclassified in that that classified unclassified data will be available so like this you can utilize pre processing plus document classification in the copilot plus process flow this is what a typical let me go back to the process flow once again we have completed the first process to get a information from the user using copilot and the second process to get a pre processed output from the pre processing bot then we have classified in the third step using classification method so now if you are having any question please comment it on this video comment section i will try to help you guys with the answer happy learning go be great